Action. So this is patient XYZ who has space on the right and a little space on the left with thick bone on the palate that we possibly could do a corticotomy. In this situation, to overcome the need for a corticotomy, we are placing a T loop, excuse me, a T bone plate in the posterior to close the space on the right side and to possibly overcome the need for the corticotomy. We start with a horizontal incision. With the nuchal gingival junction, it looks like. Is that correct, Dr. Gamma? That's correct. Theory had also been talked about is to go right into the attached gingiva to reduce scarring. Uh, the pros and cons of that is uh, decreased chance of gingival scarring. Uh, the cons are a little more difficult time closing up the uh, incision site. Big access to make it easier to place the bone plate. The idea is to gain adequate bone and to also have a good line of force when retracting the upper teeth on the right side. The patient also has a slight midline shift to the left. So that's why retraction just on the right is indicated. <laughs> There's our Y plate. That was checking for two things, for line of force and bone quality. You find it ever good? Yeah. plate is being adapted to the bone for better placement. Um, is, is this a replacement that you... I think we had a slightly smaller one. Yeah, no, 